Hey guys, this is the instructional video on how to put ringtones on your iPhone for free 99. So uh, let's get started. Um, first off, you've got to actually have the song loaded onto your iTunes account, which um, you know on, that you play on your iPod or whatnot. So any song that you own, you can go ahead and make a ringtone out of it. Um, now, also another thing is, uh, contrary to a lot of beliefs, is people say that you can only put 30 seconds worth of songs on there. Um, I've done some testing, and you can get about 38 seconds on, or 38 seconds worth of a ringtone on there. But, um, anyways, this is going to be for a um, um, PC. Um, I don't know. It's I guess it's got to be pretty much the same for a Macintosh or an Apple product. But um, don't know. Don't own one. So, um, anyways, what I'm going to do is I've picked uh, 40 ounces to freedom, and that's the one that I'm going to uh, create into a ringtone. So we'll just go ahead and pause that. So first step is to right-click on it and to go to Get Info. And I don't know if you can see, but I will zoom in a little bit for you. So Get Info. We'll click on that. And it's going to bring up this screen. It's going to have some album artwork, and you know, so it says summary, info, videos, sharing, options, lyrics, artwork. We're going to go into options. So, and it's going to bring up a window like this. So now, what we do is we come down here to the start and stop time. Um, you can see the the zeros at the start. But and remember, like I said, we can only have 38 seconds worth of ringtone. So we're going to put a zero colon 38. But this will also work too if, like, you want to chop it in the middle, like, you know, in a minute into it or whatnot to get, get a, a 38 second chunk. Um, you just start the, the time at a minute, whatever, and then, and then 38 seconds later, you go ahead and stop it, and then you'll be fine. So um, now that that's done, we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now we've physically modified this file. So now what the prob what we want to do is we want to uh, make a copy of it so we can uh, convert it into a ringtone. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the right button again and we're going to go down to create AAC version. So hit that, and it gives you a little jingle when it's done. So now, if you look over here, this song is only 38 seconds, and this one is 305. So um, now, this is where the tough part comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to take it, and we're just going to drag it. Well, that's the 305 one, never mind. We're going to take the 38 second one and we're going to drag and drop it right onto our desktop. So here it is. Whoops. Just take it a little higher so you can see it. 40 ounces to freedom. And it says um, M4A. You can see that. So now what we want to do is we want to convert this into a ringtone. So we're going to go ahead and rename this thing. So at the end here it's .m4a. We're going to create an m4r as in ringtone. So then we just click off here, just anywhere, and it'll bring up this window. It'll say, if you change a file name extension, it may be, be or may become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? And the answer is yes, because we know what we're doing. So after that's done, we have this ugly song sitting here at 38 seconds. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that.
Just get rid of it. Yep, so get down to delete. Or you can actually just hit the delete button on your keyboard too. It doesn't matter. So, and then it's going to pop up this little window and it says, do you want to move the selected song into the recycling bin or keep it in the iTunes media folder? Just move it to the recycling bin. We still got the original song. So then that's gone. And now we've got uh, our song is back. But the problem is, is the song is actually still modified. So we have to go back in there, hit Get Info, do the darn thing again. We go back, back to Options. And then where it says start and stop time, you just want to make sure that none of these are checked. And then you go down to the bottom and you hit OK. So, there we have it. So, right now, oh, whoops, this thing has covered it. Okay. So, right now we have the raw file. right here I'll zoom out for you so again we have the raw file right there this one's back to normal and um, before you start dropping ringtones in or anything like that I suggest you make your own ringtone file and just put it on your desktop um, and make sure that you put it in into that folder before you uh, you drag and drop it onto your um, your iTunes account. So we'll just throw this right in here, no big deal. And then this is where it gets tricky. Pull this down. Get a little further. Okay, so again, this is where my ringtones are, and then we're just going to come over here to the tab on the iTunes account that says ringtones. If you click on that, it'll bring up all the ringtones that you actually have right now. And if you don't have any, then it's going to be blank. So, here's where it gets tricky is you're going to take your folder over here that's got the I, iTunes ring or iPhone ringtones and click on that make it smaller and then we're going to find our new ringtone that we just made so here it is up up here is 40 ounces to freedom and we're just gonna take it drag it over to the iTunes side and drop it and it'll add it right in there and that's it so then you have your ringtone, your music's put back together, and you got it all stored neatly. So, hope this helps, and if it doesn't, give me a jingle, and uh, maybe I'll try and put a different one on. So, take care people. Bye.